Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to make dynamic data validation drop-down list instead of having static ones. So this problem actually was resolved in the latest update of Excel. But in the earlier versions, if you just use data validation by selecting the whole array in here, you're going to get this multiple null cells. As mentioned in the new versions, this issue is resolved and it only gives us non-repetitive options and also one blank option. But if you're using the earlier updates, you can use a special formula in data validation just to get the necessary parts of an array as a list. So let's check the formula. The formula that we need to learn for dynamic drop-down list is offset. The offset formula gives you a part of an array that you choose. So let's write offset. And then it asks us, what is the reference point? So choose your reference cell. So let's say we want B4 to B9 to appear in here. So our reference point is B4. And then put your delimiter. It asks us if we would like to shift our reference cell to start this offset formula. We don't need any numbers for rows and columns. And for height, we need to write the number for the same amount number in here. So we can't just write B4 to B9. So all we can do is make a count A function to count any cells in this array with data. So we can use this function for height. Put your delimiter and then choose one for width, which means one width of cell. So close your parenthesis and then you will be able to see the dynamic options for status. Now let's use this formula as a custom formula for dynamic drop-down list. All you have to do is go to data ribbon and then choose data validation. Choose list and then write your formula instead of choosing the array. So our formula is this. Once you press OK, sorry, yep, and once you press OK, you'll be able to see dynamic drop-down list without a blank in the data validation section. If you're using 2021 Excel, you can also remove duplicates. Let's assume that these last two cells was overwritten. We were still going to get final stage and done twice in this section. So what you could do is you could write a unique formula which is found in the 2001 Excel or later. So choose all the area and then close your parenthesis. This will bring only non-repetitive options. So what you can do in here is writing a second offset formula or if you would like to start your reference cell above the first data like this, you have to put one in row section so that it could shift. But let's write the simple version. We want reference cell to be this. We don't want any row or column. And for count of the height, we're always going to get a zero if there are multiple cells. 
So what we can do in here is use count A and then choose the whole area. I mean, you don't have to choose this area. You can even choose multiple areas depending on the cells in here. But this could even be until 222. It doesn't matter. And then minus 1 because we will always have the zero in here and then one for width. So once you close your parenthesis, you will have your non-repetitive options in here and you can use this formula to remove duplicates and also remove null cells with this formula. And that's it. I hope it's a trick that you enjoy to use. So please don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe if you like the video and you can write your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.